going to show you how to make brigadeiro. Brigadeiro traditionally is a Brazilian truffle recipe. Uh, but here in the Philippines, our brigadeiro is chocolate cake with a uh, cream filling. Whatever uh, version that you have, what is important is that the brigadeiro should contain cocoa powder and condensed milk. Let's get started. For the brigadeiro cake, you need the following ingredients. Two cups all-purpose flour, one cup of cocoa powder, two cups of brown sugar, one half cup white sugar, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon baking powder, one and a half teaspoon baking soda, one tablespoon vinegar, two thirds cup of vegetable oil, two eggs, two teaspoons coffee, one tablespoon vanilla, two cups of hot water. For the brigadeiro filling, you need one big can of evaporated milk or one and a half cups, one big can of condensed milk or one and one third cup, one fourth cup of cornstarch, two teaspoons of vanilla, and three egg yolks, two tablespoons of butter. For the brigadeiro cake, for the chocolate ganache, you need one cup all-purpose cream, 350 grams of dark or semi-sweet or bittersweet chocolate, two tablespoons of butter. Mix together, this is an easy cake to mix, flour, cocoa powder, make sure they have been sifted before you measure them, white sugar, brown sugar, then you have baking powder, baking soda, salt. This is hot water. You dissolve the coffee here in hot, hot water. Use instant coffee, don't use the three in one. Then you mix all the dry ingredients together. All right, and then we will add in oil, vanilla, vinegar, Egg. You mix this and then we add the hot water with the coffee. Mix this until it's smooth. You can also strain this to make sure they are all smooth. You can choose any baking pan but today I'm going to use a 6 inch baking pan because I'm going to put this in a tin can. But it depends on your uh, final container. This is a 6 inch by 2 inch baking pan. And then you put uh, parchment paper. We will divide this into two baking pan, uh, into 5 baking pans. By the way, uh, this should be about 1 and 1 fourth per baking pan more or less bake this about 340 350 degrees for about uh, 20 minutes or until it's done to make the brigadeiro filling you put first cornstarch and then the egg yolks and then the evaporated milk and then you have the condensed milk Mix this together before you turn on the heat. Don't worry about those little uh, starch. Uh, they will disappear as soon as we start heating. So I'm now heating the uh, mixture. By the way, I forgot we need to add two tablespoons of butter too. For the complete list of ingredients, please check uh, the end of the video. You have everything there. So make sure you watch the video in full. And once in a while, please check the description box because there I'll give you tips. I'll give you some information about the recipe and corrections and other information I might have forgotten to tell you while we were making the video. It's starting to thicken now, see? Since this is cornstarch based, 
once it starts to boil, then the mixture thickens. All right. And then we have here vanilla. Okay, this is done. So let me shut this off. And then I add butter. This one has no more heat. And then we will cool this and put this on top of the cake as soon as the cake is done and cooled also. You put this in another container and then put plastic on top and then we uh, keep this uh, chilled until we're ready to use. Right. You put plastic, make sure it touches uh, the filling. All right. And then you can uh, cool this in a what in an ice bath or you can put this in the refrigerator. Our brigadero cake is done here. See? Or you can use a uh, cake tester to check. All right, let's remove this from the oven. And put it on a cake rack to cool. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. Take the ganache. Let's heat uh, all-purpose cream and butter. Butter is to give it shine. You see, it's starting to boil now. Put on off the heat and then put the chocolate. And then you stir until the chocolate is completely melted. The heat of the cream will melt the chocolate. This is what we call a thin ganache. By the way, the size of your baking pan is determined by the size of your final container where you are going to sell or serve this. So if your container is 4x4 four four or 5x5, uh, five five, then use the same measurement of baking pan. Alright, let's set this aside. Here, I'm going to put them in a tin can. You can bake in a tin can, but I don't like to bake in a tin can. I always bake it in a uh, baking pan. So, you remove the paper and put it in the container. This one, remember the brigadero uh, filling that we made? We chilled this, so you need to mix this. If you want this ultra smooth, then you need to put it in the mixer. But uh, this one for me is fine. All right. Let's divide this into five uh, containers since I have five of this. All right. When you spread out, make sure you seal the ends. So you also uh, keep the cake moist. So make sure there are no spaces between the tin can and the brigadero topping. And then we pour the ganache on top of the filling. If you're on a budget, you can also reduce the amount of chocolate ganache, but uh, I tell you it contributes a lot to the flavor, so use all of it. So this is the consistency that we like. It should be like a, a, a pouring consistency. So here's our brigadero cake. Don't forget to chill it in the refrigerator before you serve it.